Sweet potatoes are one of the easiest and most productive crops anyone can grow in a home garden. And the best part is harvest time because it's like digging up buried treasure. So in this video, I'm gonna show you when and how to harvest your sweet potatoes and preserve them for months of enjoyment. Sweet potatoes take generally between 100 and 120 days after you plant the slips for harvest. So plan on about four months. Now you could leave them in the ground longer than that, but you want to keep an eye on them. And so the key to when you're getting into that harvest time is once you notice the foliage above ground start to turn yellow. That's your clue that productivity is slowing down. And you could harvest at that point, but as you might suspect, the longer you can leave them in the ground while the top growth is still viable, the larger the potatoes and the greater the harvest. Now, can you wait too long? Absolutely you can. Once the top growth dies down, typically through a killing frost like I have right here, you need to harvest at that point. Ideally, you want to harvest it right away. Now, if you can't get to the harvest at that point, the next best thing you can do is cut away all of the foliage. The reason for that is there is a disease that can pass through the top growth foliage down into the top of the sweet potatoes and it can kill them and you certainly don't want that. So you want to come back and harvest as soon as possible after you remove that top growth. But ideally, you want to do it at the same time. Now, once you have that foliage cut away, and you don't have to do that by removing the vines, but I just feel like it kind of clears the path and makes it easier access into the bed, you want to use a tool that is going to loosen the soil. You're not using the tool to harvest or dig out the potatoes. The potatoes have a very soft skin, and if you scrape the skin or pierce the potato, then they're not going to store well and in fact they're probably going to rot when you try to store them. So avoid that at all costs. So the idea of using a proper tool like this digging fork right here is to get underneath the potatoes and loosen the soil. Your harvesting tool is going to be your hands. This is the best tool you have to get down in there and get those sweet potatoes out of the ground. So be careful as you get under there and just work the soil to loosen it and then come back and harvest with your hands. Okay, now as tempting as it might be to want to have these tonight for dinner, you need to resist that urge because these need to cure. Basically, we need to give it time for the starches to convert to sugars, and that takes about two to three weeks with proper storage and curing. So here's how you prepare them for storage. Once you've harvested them, if you feel the need right away, you can carefully wipe off the excess soil, but that's all at this point. Too much effort here will scrape away the skin. It's better if you wait a few days for even this first step as the skins will be tougher as they start to cure. And don't leave them out in direct sun right after harvest for more than a few hours. For long-term storage, curing is key for toughening up the skins. Here's how you do that. The most important issue for long-term storage is high humidity and heat above 80 to 85 degrees for one to two weeks. So where do you find that around the house? In the real world, a simple solution is to get plastic grocery bags and place a single layer of sweet potatoes in each bag. Close the bag, cut a few holes for ventilation, and place them in the sunniest spot of your house for about 10 days. Another option is to use a closet, pantry, or bathroom with a space heater and a humidifier. No humidifier? Get a container or bucket of water and set it in the room. Place a thermometer that includes humidity readings in there so you can keep an eye on it. The closer you're able to get to replicating these conditions, the faster the curing process goes, likely about a week. And last, don't wash potatoes before storing them because that will shorten their shelf life. If you follow these simple steps, you'll be enjoying sweet potatoes for many months ahead. <music> 